Good morning, my peoples. It is the morning of, and I already see some faces. See Matt, who we were just with at the uh, Mikey's birthday. And we got some people lining up outside, folks. So Y'all want to see who we got waiting? I was in a rush over here, folks. My wife said, let's cuddle first, babe. And I was like, no, babe, I got to get a grand opening. And then I felt really, really bad for even saying that. And I was like, we're going to cuddle for a minute. But I made it on time, folks. I love my wife. Oh, did they open already? Are they open? Did they open early? Did I miss it? Good morning. Good morning. What's up, Matt? It's hard. Oh, what a nice jacket. It's funny. Damn. Let me see that, man. Starter, too? Yeah. Huh? Shit. Yeah. <laughs> this guy always comes styling. I had to with the Thundercats, too. Thundercats. That's me, dude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Just dyed your hair to hide your identity. <laughs> I raffle tickets, so you're going to want to get in line. Yeah. All right, so the oh. line starts back there. Everyone can get yeah, go get in line, ladies. The first 25. Well, get a prize, maybe. I would do it for the prize. Do it for the prize. Yeah. Okay, but I'm here. <laughs> Thank you. No, thank you so much. You love them. Okay, thank you. Tell Marissa it's for putting up with you um, during all the time to open the boutique. And I didn't want to get you guys food in case you had food allergies. So flowers for the wife. I want you guys to battle this out. All the funds are going to go to Positive Young Prince on this item. And uh, I'm going to let Chelsea pull this little bad boy. Oh, that's it. I'm excited that one. No, no, no. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have a study right here, right now. All the funds going to the nonprofit. You'll give me $10 and let's go. I'll be the first $10. You got $10. You got $10. The grand opening was really good. People showed up. What you saw in line was nothing compared to everybody else that came in together collectively. I ended up leaving about an hour and a half, um, around three or two from the grand opening because I had to meet with my wife here. I like to be here when she wakes up as much as possible and have uh, breakfast or her dinner. I don't know because of the time she gets up, it's a little weird. I made sure to be here for her before she heads off to work. When I left the Good Stuff thrift store, I was dealing, I'm not was, I'm dealing with some stuff that it's heavy on my heart folks and that's something i'm still working on information to share with you i got other people to talk to and just know with all of your support and everything that y'all do for us it helps make me feel better in a way that medicine can't make me feel this way only the good vibes and support that we're getting from y'all every one of y'all that have been coming in has made me feel this way and i feel thankful and welcome to i'll share more with you on that later but for now let me share with you what i found at the thrift store before heading home after the event sky's a little gloomy folks but not my attitude my name isn't sunny for nothing but even through these dark skies it's always sunny in las vegas literally physically right here i'll never do stand-up comedy Let's go make it cha-ching. All right, ladies and gents, I got big goals this year. I not only want to reach 10,000 subscribers with your assistance, I want to I want to get up there. By the end of the year, 30,000 is my goal. So like, subscribe. All right, still a green tag. Mm. 
I want the big sizes. Let's go with the big sizes over here, folks. What is this right here? Hudson. Hudson really is a good brand and I've sold it quite a bit. What got my attention was all the coloring that was on here. It just said, hey, look at me. But looking up the comps and all the genuineness on this and the price is $6, it wasn't worth getting. But if it was say three or $4, I would've got it. Would've probably sold for around 15 to $18 if, if it was much better condition. All right, folks, finding some good teas, but I need to find some hard, well, I don't need to. I want to find some hard goods. So let's find some hard goods. <laughs> Death by diet. Holy moly's. This must have been looked up and priced up for that high. Death by diet. B puzzle, the jigsaw puzzle, murder mystery. R.D. Zimmerman. 
This does have a barcode. Ladies and gents, I had to put that one back, folks, because it's not enough money to be made. Comps are all over the place. And I'm not comfortable with it. So adios. Somebody will get you though. But it's not gonna be me. I do like going into the linen section. I think this might be Kansas City Chiefs. Oh, it's like a Mexican rug. It's like a poncho. <laughs> 40 bucks. We gotta see what it looks like, right folks? This is the best I could do. 40 bucks. I'm not a fan of it. I'm a reseller. But there are some things like if it was Cowboys or Raiders, I'll definitely pick it up. I mean, not this, but some things I do pick up for myself and pay up for. All right, I found more tapestry, folks. And this one's nice. Let's see if I could get it on here. I don't know if you can see it, but they've got some dolphins underwater. Dolphins underwater, really good condition. Got a sea turtle. Really nice and soft, too. It's, it's only one-sided, though. Then on here, five dollars. Easy. Usually it's on the corner somewhere. I thought they seen a tag earlier. I could be wrong. Here it is. By seeing we were these could go anywhere from like 20 to 40, maybe $50. So $5. I'm picking that up. <laughs> Look at this little guy just chilling out. Bank of Alcatraz. Susan S. $2.99. I think we gotta take this, folks. This, this brings me joy. And we're going to pass it on when we sell it. Bring joy to somebody else. I like that. Look at this OD here. Just by looking at it. I don't even think I've ever seen. I've never seen a Spalding bat. Made in the USA. Good to know. Power temp. Now this does have a little bit of wear on here. But these are collectible. Official Blue Streak softball bat, and this is narrow, folks. It's very rare that these Burger King hands could fit around a bat like this. And for four dollars, I'm gonna pick this up. I have another one. Do you? Yeah. I like grab them. Yeah. Yeah, let me bring it. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So the dog is here. Uh, I wait here for you. Okay. I'll be right here. Sweet. So folks, some of these have a date on here, like 1980. Those could go for like around a hundred dollars. Now this one might be more around 20, but I still got to do more research on it. And then the worker in here, I think she's a new manager. She said, hey, I got another one. So uh, score, especially if it's for the same price, <laughs> score. Cool, thank you. Yeah. If you don't like it, just put over there. Okay, I will, thank you. Howard Hawthorne, maybe. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. She said it was seven at Savers. They just put the sticker over it and they made it a dollar less. Sounds like Walmart clearance prices. Vietnam veteran. Four dollars. Got the rope that's busted. Alright folks, spotted some pants which I believe are vintage. 
got a date on here, but I don't know this tag, so I'm reaching out to a friend. I'm gonna scoop these up for now. <laughs> are you are you serious? This is the first time, folks. First time. There's Look at that. One, two, three, four. Looks like four of them all for nine. 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 I'm pretty sure that's nine. I can't believe coming across all these pants, especially brand new with tags. But then you got a used Carhartt pant right over here, a jean, if you will. For the same price of $9.99 as the new one, I'm not going to complain. I'm thankful I just showed up over here and got to get not only four, but five of them. They should sell for top dollar around $60, bottom dollar today, huh? $50. Yeah. Cha ching What's up, man? At the mic, I'm looking forward to a big trip in July. Oh, where are you going? You're going to Hawaii after? New York. New York? New York. That's where we're thinking about going to. I don't know when, but that's my wife's next destination. Oh. All right, folks. I was wanting to pick this up because I have pins I needed to put things in, but I didn't feel like putting it inside a bowl necessarily. But this is pretty cool. And I think this is going to work just fine. And for four dollars, yeah, I'm taking that. If only there was another one. This is a very detailed aluminum wall decoration of Noah's Ark. It looks magnificent. For four doll hairs, I'm gonna take this with me. How much do you think I could get for it? Because I couldn't find anything like it. This glass right here looks really pretty. I also looked at that one, but I think it's more of a modern one. It has like a modern adhesive sticker on the bottom. Ooh, it looks like somebody is trying to look at the label under this. Let's see if there's anything under there. Sometimes people just look the look, see what they're familiar with, but they may not be familiar with everything. Oh, folks. No way. Yes way, folks. Let's fix that sticker, because I'm going to get this. This is beautiful, if I could fix it. All right, $2.99, folks. Stickers on there. This is a Fenton. Yes, a Fenton. Look at how pretty this is. Something about this is not so smooth, like on the edges, which also got my attention. There's kind of like a ruffle, like a wavy kind of look that just flows in there you can't really settle your eyes on it at least not me but the color in here is pretty nice inside and out too a fenton folks just sitting here sitting here let's hide this right here cover that up Ooh, some new racks out. I even hear them strolling through. And immediately, folks, these little helmets, Carry American Arbitrage has gotten me into them. For $5, to me, I felt it was worth it. There's Schultz, or Schutz, Schutz, and Riddle, or Rydell, I reset it. Um, Squirrel, MGM, little ashtray. I haven't seen them go for too much, and that looks more of a newer one. Somebody probably stole it from the room. Then we got a, like a little ribbon rope ceramic basket i did scoop this up because how intricate it looks but i put it away but if you notice that little helmet in the back sells for a pretty good penny used so i did get it then you also have this little carved i'm guessing this marble kind of an old school turtle and these vintage miniature porcelain teacup set can it get any better i'll be honest it doesn't need to because i found so much good stuff Make sure to like and subscribe and continue watching for more. Thank you.
I love coming across these little types of jewelry trinket boxes. This one looks like it's custom made. It has the turquoise blue bead and it is plastic, not turquoise. Cause if it was real turquoise, I would be balling for at least a good three weeks of thrift money. But this one, I like to put jewelry inside there and do a little bundle sale. I usually do very well. So follow me on whatnot folks. Cause the link's gonna be pinned in the comment. I'm gonna try to have two a week. Bank here again and look at this. Now there's another vintage banker's desk lamp and there's lights in it but does it work folks that's not it there it goes As much as I wanted to get this, I know that it could be at least $50 or more. And for the price, I had to pass. There was a hole in the bottom of the material. There was tarnish on the top. And I didn't know if it worked, even though there's a seven day return policy with Goodwill here. It usually takes me the eighth day to I finally figure out and test it that it doesn't work. So pass. Aria is a very good brand, folks. I mentioned it often when I come across it, but with this, <laughs> Right on over, we got this vintage distraction Tullix. Look at how cute this is. This is a vintage Tullix tag, probably early 90s. For the price, I'm gonna get this, folks. It's worth it to me. And I love these type of sweaters. I'm getting more and more into them. Nice, loose, baggy fit, especially the hoodies. I just feel so much more comfortable in them, especially now that I'm losing weight. I've lost over 15 pounds and super excited to keep going. My Chemical Romance, this is the second time I've come across My Chemical Romance. I have one in the shop, but not for long, folks. Stay tuned to the end of the video because I have some news updates to share with you. It's bittersweet. I just want to keep you informed. This hoodie should get me around $50 to $60. It's in really good condition. It is vintage. And you should keep your eyes out on more punk band and music and alternative type stuff, not just hoodies and t-shirts but hats and other types of items. Now, these Western shirts, I did want to get these as much as I want them. I got some items in my cart that can bring in really good money. Really, really good money if you've been watching and following along. And if you are hearing me, then I know you have. So just a reminder, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Let's try to get up to 6,000 views and a thousand thumbs up. Art Techs. This is a great brand, great, great brand. And that logo, it's one you should also keep on the back of your noggin when it comes to reselling or even getting for yourself. It's a huge brand. It's just the first time I come across a shirt, a button-up shirt. Usually I come across hoodies and jackets, even snow pants. So this is the first one. I don't know if you believe me, so I gotta show you one of the comps. This is pre-owned and should get around $90 for this. Cha-ching. Um. Calling in for help on this one. I don't know the team of what the logo is on there. There's like a star and maybe a basketball, but this is definitely a 90s fleece jacket. And it should sell for around 40 minimum. If I could figure out the team, maybe with your help, it could probably sell for more. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. 
So, usually Mikey gives updates on what's going on, but an unfortunate flip side of this is that we'll no longer be inside the Good Stuff Thrift Store as of the end of this month or earlier. Some things happened that started showing since our visit to Hawaii uh, in November for Thanksgiving. When we came back, there was a follow-up and found out recently, after all this time, finally the follow-up results came in and found that there was more to it. So since then, I've been scared daily of what's going on. I try not to think about it and be there for my family, but it's not that easy. On top of that, without this being resolved, I can't be inside the Good Stuff Thrift Store anymore. I need to be here for family. It's as clear as that for myself and wanted to let you all know that at the end of this month or even maybe sooner, depending on how things work out, we're not going to have the reseller cartel anymore. Boutique. The reseller cartel is more than just in Las Vegas. It's all over the States. It's overseas. And if you don't believe me, folks, for those watching this to the end, use hashtag reseller cartel. And at the end of that, add your city, town, your country. And I've told Mikey this, that my dream for it was not that the reseller cartel was a boutique. It's actually more than that. It's who we are. It's the people that could relate to us, the people that support us and love us as much as we love you all. Thank you so much for that. You make these hard times of what I'm dreading, but know I need to get to, to move to the next step for me and my family to have a family of our own. I did let Danny know as soon as I found out and talked to my family about what we're going through and she is aware of what's going on. There is nothing wrong between any of us. Things have been good. We won't stop supporting the Good Stuff Thrift Store nor the nonprofits in there and telling people about it. That's just the way we are. If you've been following us long enough, we are very selfless and we love to do what we do in the reseller community, not only through sharing content, but face-to-face -face as well. I'm getting to travel more and there's more to that that I'm working on, but this alone, the boutique, does take away quite a bit of time for me to find stuff to put just in there for it to work out. And people have warned me that it's tough, it's hard. Some people have shared with us that it's failed, their boutiques, their boots. I always felt like, not me, not me. I'm not gonna fail and I don't think I failed. This is an entirely different story. And just because we fail in moments doesn't mean we're failures forever. We succeed in our own way. And I've shown and shared that time and time again with my own personal hardships that I've had in my life. And even till now, there's always something gonna happen. I'm gonna be resilient and I'm gonna be there for my family. And I'm gonna be there for you as well, being here online and still continue doing what I'm doing just without the boutique. Folks, we'll share more of the information of what's going on in the future when we find out more on our follow-up.